because one thing that you can do is basically functional data-driven testing in here. So we're going to create textual assertions and we, you're also going to get to see parameterization in here. You don't have to hard code in values. So let me show what I mean in here. So notice we've got Adam typed in in here, and then we're going to type in an action. And notice how we get autocomplete on that action too. But we avoided the autocomplete here and just went ahead and typed in. Verify that the text is capitalized. We can see that immediately passes. Well, what if we check if it's lowercase? then it fails as expected, because notice that it is uppercase. Then we're gonna just say, hey, it should start with Adam, that passes fine too. So up here though on two, notice that we've hard coded in Adam, well, wouldn't it be nice if we could parameterize and you can do that by putting in curly braces. And those curly braces are a reference to a parameter. So now you're gonna see, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna rerun, and then it's gonna pop this up. We can say, okay, here's what I wanna use for name, Here's what I want to use for email. Those are basically placeholders so I can easily run it with different values. So this is about the only little syntax that you use. Notice everything else is plain English. Then it's going to step through here again. We get down to the bottom and notice it just clicked add user interaction because now what we're going to do is store that 84843 that you see there but notice the way that it's described. We're saying store the text to the right of your request. I mean, it's really cool. Like you're speaking to it like you would a human and look at what we got. We got a reference. I got to bring this back so you could see it, but we got a reference to that and we could see it pop up in the video. And then we're telling it using that parameter, we're going to verify that that ID is numeric. So now we're writing tests to verify that the dynamic output is what we expect, which again, pretty slick.